Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're going to take a look at the Waikimi 32 LED landscape spotlight. These are solar lamps that you can put out in your yarn or your yard or on your lawn or you can mount them somewhere if you want to. But we're going to go ahead, unbox them, take a look at what comes inside and then I'm going to take them outside and spike them in the ground, let them uh, get some sunlight and see how well they work. So let's jump into it and here we go. All right, here's the box and you can see there's really not much on here, just a little bit of branding and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see everything that comes inside of it. So it looks like we're going to get a couple of, uh, let's see, I think these are going to be attachments for it. So it looks like we're going to get a couple of spikes here that are going to uh, be used to put in the ground so that you can uh, mount these in the ground. These are, I'm not sure, these are some attachments, we'll figure that out in a moment. Um, and then this is going to be the light right here. So here is the light and oh, there we go. So this is going to go in here and mount up just like that. And then we're going to be able to put the, uh, the spike other end of the spike in here. And then that goes into the ground. So, all right. So we can see here also that we are going to have a, uh, we are going to have a solar panel right there. So that uh, solar panel is going to help gather uh, energy so that it can power the lights. It says auto on when in uh, dim space. So yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, see what else we get. So we're going to get two lights right here, which is always nice. So we're going to have two lights so that we can uh, we can put them up in, uh, in different places if need be. And uh, and then we'll just move all that over there because we have a bunch of other stuff in there. We'll dump it all out. And it looks like we're going to get a user manual and we can see here it says it's waterproof, frostproof and heat resistant. So there's that. Um, we're also going to get some mounting stuff here and some more mounting stuff and some more mounting stuff. So yeah, um, I believe the way this works is if I can get this right, um, it sort of works in the same same vein as like a GoPro mount where you're going to put this right in there and then you're going to have this nut that's going to come through. So let's see if I can actually, uh, let's see if I can actually get this in there. So we're going to put that right there. That's going to go, um, that's going to go right in there just like that. And then on the other end is where I guess this goes through, but it doesn't look like it's actually long enough to fit in there. So we're going to, if you can see here on the other end, it's not actually coming all the way through. So I have to figure that out and uh, see if we can get this working because that's definitely not going all the way through there. So, all right, um, let's see. It does look like maybe there is, there's a couple of these and I'm just, yeah, they just don't look long enough. All right, well, I'm going to figure it out and, uh, and, and see if I can get these mounted up and test them. All right, so I was able to get this going here and we can see that there is a opening on this side that is shaped like the nut. And so I was just trying to put it in on the wrong side there. So basically what you want to do is put this in here. Just make sure that it's uh, that it's going it's starting to go through there. Just get that started if you uh, as you will and make sure that it's starting to go not all the way because you don't want to block uh, you don't want to block this right here. So we're going to put that in there. And I liked, I, to me, I was just able to get this started just enough to get this in there and get it, uh, start to get it locked in. And you can sort of, you can sort of get it in. You can see it. If you sort of look for light coming through, you can kind of start to get it going in there. So it, it just, it does take a, it takes a few minutes to get this actually going. Um, but once you do, it's all set up and it looks like that. And then you can put the stake part. Let me move that over there. You can put this part in here and then this stake is going to go in the ground. All right. So I, uh, I'm outside. I have the lights all ready to go. I have the stakes in them. Everything's put together. Now there's not a ton of uh, sunlight left in the day. So I'm going to put these in the ground and hopefully with just uh, maybe an hour or two of light on them, it'll be enough to brighten them up. So, but we're going to go ahead, put them in the ground and then we'll come back after dark and see how well they do. All right. So here are the lights staked into the ground right here. And you can see the solar panels right on top. I have one pointing up a little bit and the other one pointing uh, more towards the sun there. 
Uh, yeah, I kind of want to see how it's going to perform uh, with one getting less light maybe than the other. So, yeah, well, let's just see how they do. But there they are. They are staked in the ground. It is about 4.30 right now. Sunset's going to be around 6.30. So we'll see if they get enough sunlight to actually do anything once it gets dark. All right. Well, it is dark out now and it's uh, it's pretty late, but it's dark out now and it is uh it's really dark out here. So, but uh I'm going to head back over into the corral where I left those uh those lights and see if uh if it's actually uh if they're actually working. And I can tell you right now, I see them and they're working. They are lighting up the area. So, let me go ahead and turn the camera around so that you can check them out. All right, there they are in the distance as we can see. So let me go ahead and, uh, and walk up there. And I have one pointing in one direction and one pointing in the other. And we can see there that it really does a nice job of lighting things up. Now, if I went ahead and, uh, and move these and separated them a bit, I can get a much wider uh, coverage area. But yeah, this looks very, very nice i have to say they're doing a fine job these are really really bright way brighter than i ever thought and uh and these are just yeah i'm impressed i have to say i think they're doing a wonderful job and anybody who's looking for lights uh solar lights i think these are going to work great for you you can stake them in the ground or you can mount them on a building whichever way works the best for you all right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is a look at the Waikimi landscape spotlights. And these are solar panel spotlights. And I like the fact that you can actually mount these on a wall or on a building. And they come with the stakes so that you can just stake them in the ground and put them on your lawn or, or anywhere you want. You can just mount them all kinds of different ways. So, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think about them. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to them in the video description down below so you can check them out if you're interested and want to learn more or want to buy some. And I'm also going to uh, leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. Yeah. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry What Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.